Hi, this is Jackson from the Globalscape support team. I'm going to show you how to set up a public key authentication connection uh, using SFTP and EFT. So, um, as you can see here, I've got the EFT admin interface pulled up. I've created a new settings template called public key. This is where I'm going to hold my public key authentication accounts. So, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new user here. Uh, we're going to call it PKA test for public key authentication test. And I'm just going to give it a dummy password. I'm going to give it full permissions to its home folder. And I'm going to go ahead and give it access to all protocols, even though I'm only going to be using SFTP. So, account's created, just to sort of test it. I'm going to use QFTP here in the background. And this is going to be a connection to the local host. Ask me, do you trust the host key? Only have to do this once, and we should be able to authenticate. Okay, as you can see, we have a complete directory listing, and we were able to connect. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Now, a lot of times we get the question asked, who creates the public key for authentication? Well, it's actually very simple. Typically, the client will create the public key and private key. So they're creating the key pair. Then they're going to provide the server the public key and the server is going to assign, the server admin will assign that public key to the user account so that that user can use that public key to authenticate. So in this case we're going to go ahead and use QFTP. So QFTP has an option to create uh, a public key. So we're going to go ahead and do that instead of using password authentication. So. In this case, I'm just going to create a standard RSA key, give it a password, and I'm going to set it to 2048. Typically, you want to use the 2048 key bit length that is uh, considered secure. So I'm going to actually I'm going to put these on my desktop just to make it easier, and we're going to call this PKA test. Okay, and uh, you can see it automatically changed it to my desktop for the public key as well. So the public key is going to be PKA test.pub and the private key is going to be PKA test. Now, you never want to provide the private key because the private key is what, uh, is, what, is what keeps your public key safe. So it's essentially the equivalent of your password in a public key authentication connection. So go ahead and generate this key. And then it's going to ask me if I want to uh, use this generated private key pair. And yes, we want to do that. So I'm going to go and click Apply. At this point, we won't be able to connect because we have not set this up on EFT site. So if I'm the client, I'm going to go ahead and send that public key over to the server admin. In this case, I am also the server admin. So here's the public key right here. I'm going to import it. Go to Tools, and then Manage SSH Keys. So I have a, uh, an unused key here already. But uh, we're going to use this PKA test key. So I go to the PKA test. It looks for pub key uh, pub files by default. However, uh, a public key can be any extension. It doesn't even have to have an extension at all. The only thing that EFT cares about is the actual contents of the file. So it's going to ask me to give it a name. I'm just going to leave it at the default. So at this point, I've imported this. Uh, this is not uh, you're not done at this point because you actually need to assign that public key to a user account. So I'm going to go to my PKA test key uh, user, and then I'm going to click SFTP off. And instead of specified in settings template, I want to switch this to public key only. At this point, uh, we can click edit and add our new, uh, our newly generated public key to the uh, keys valid for this client. At this point, we click OK, and we should be good to go. We click apply, and remember that's under SFTP off under the connections tab of the user settings. So at this point we should be good to go. Test authentication here. So you can see we're able to authenticate and uh, just for good measure I'm going to upload my public key just to show that it's working. So that's working. Now uh, as proof of content just to show that it's not using a password I will go ahead 
and enable password authentication and disable public key authentication. And at this point, it should not let me authenticate. Okay, so you can see uh, it's having issues authenticating. It's probably it's going to retry this connection, but uh, yeah, that's how you set up public key authentication in EFT server. Um, thanks for watching this video.